time for baseball on MLB Network. Should be a fun Father's Day matchup between the Boston Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays. Division rivals do battle next. Jacob DeGrom is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Tampa Bay. Dan, any thoughts? This will be interesting. This guy won the NL Cy Young Award last year. He's a solid pitcher, man. One of the things he does, he throws the ball into the strike zone, and he's not afraid of contact. Solid pitcher. Ready now is Nick Solak. He will lead this one off today. First delivery to him. And it's fouled away. First pitch, 140. A swing and a miss. Two quick strikes to start his afternoon. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone to open up the ball game. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling, keep throwing it. Right there, three fastballs in a row. He gone. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. As he'll take a look at ball one. And guys the Rays as they begin play here this afternoon they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late five and three in their last eight games. Hey Matty V we're taking a look at a team right here D row through five games of this homestand they're three and two I know they were expecting more but they'd like to win this one here today and get that up to four and two on this homestand. Yeah this is an important one right here. You don't want to go 500 first six That's games good. especially at home on the road you can deal with Andrew. it at home. This Logo. is a must win. So two out nobody on and that'll bring up the power hitting shortstop Xander Bogarts. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Hey when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher attack with that pitch get ahead get the offense on their toes that opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. Nothing in the first for Boston. Tampa Bay coming up. You're watching MLB Network. Trevor Williams a California born right hander is on the mound. What do you have for us on him Danny. Man he pitched really well in his last one without allowing a single run and picking up the victory. Let's see if he can bring that stuff back to the ballpark with him and make it two really strong starts. Malik Smith the next to hit. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And that misses for ball one. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. Despite the loss last time out, they've been in a real good groove lately. Victorious in seven of their last nine. Yeah, Maddie, no excuses anymore. April, May go by. You kind of cut your teeth, try and find clubhouse chemistry, execute on the field. We're in June now. This is a good harbinger of what's to come, and this team's playing well. Expect them to be in the race for a while. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2 1 pitch. Now a swing as he foul tips it here and oh, right off his arm behind the plate. That hurts. 
Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2 0 to start the at bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. That brings up Wander Franco nope. as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 309 is the average entering play. Seven homers, 27 driven in. Aye. And that catches the outside edge, one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled away. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Two pitch mix here. If you're in the batter's box, you're looking for something up. Sink or change up right here. Got to get it up. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Winker will drift over to his right a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Batting third. The third baseman. Allen. Boom. So to get his day started at the plate, Alec Bohm comes in hitting just a hair below 300 this season. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Two out, nobody on. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately hit in the air down the right field line. Judge is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Rays go in order one two three still no score. Here's big Aaron Judge. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Hey, Dero, Larry Bullard, he's pretty much right down the middle. You see very few managers and players getting into very many confrontations with Larry. Yeah, Larry lays in the weed stand, doesn't try and make it about him, and that's what the players love. He's got a pretty consistent strike zone, and he's approachable. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92 you can usually see seams 92 to 95 it starts to really quicken up on you over three digits you're seeing a white blur the 2 2 Jesse Winker will be next. Three two pitch. And he fouls this one off. The next three two. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Next up for the Red Sox, Jesse Winker. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's one for five. From the stretch. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. 
Not a bad spot to miss right there. Much rather have it run inside than out over the plate where the hitter can do a lot of damage. Now the 1-0. Oh. Hey. Hit out towards second. To second for one. To Aguilar for the double play. When a glove toss is executed successfully, it's a thing of beauty. When it fails, boy, does it look ugly. Here we get to see a great example of it to begin a double play. Quick and accurate with the flip, and they get the two outs. Here's Miguel Andujar now. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. One ball. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2 and 2. Still looking for our first hit in the ballgame. Three balls and two strikes to the DH for the Red Sox. That's back to back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. Three two pitch. And it's fouled away. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle cannot be late on that fastball. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Red Sox go down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's Randy Arozarena. It's been a big series for him so far with six driven in on three hits. First delivery to him. The 1 0. It's a changeup offered at and missed. Outside, 2 and 1. And there's a base hit on the line. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. So now into the box is Dylan Moore, and he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah, great RBI opportunity here, but at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. From the belt kicks and deals and he turns this one around high and deep to center field and that is off the wall a Rosarena is on his way home and he's safe at the plate as they take the lead man it's like deja vu all over again two well hit back-to-back -back doubles that bring in a run 
This one ends up going off the wall, and it looks like they've got a pretty good idea what this guy's trying to do to them out there. Definitely getting some good swings against him. So now to the plate, Jesus Aguilar. This is line to left. Winker is there, and he makes the catch for the out. And he's safe. Now into the box, Donovan Casey. And there you see his righty lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Here's the first pitch. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Yanked on the ground down the line. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Stepping in next, Will Benson. with the first pitch here it comes maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Still only one out in the inning. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Christian Vasquez is on deck. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Into the box now, Christian Vasquez. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Rays lead it two to nothing. Campaneris. Leading off the inning, it'll be Sean Campaneris as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Ballman two strikes. 
When the pitcher on the mound's established in this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Just hung in there on that one. Now another one two. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah that was really well executed Matt a classic strikeout pitch you think it's fastball middle in then it starts bearing in on your back leg and unless you hit it out front there's nothing much you can do with that. At the plate now shirt and apostle as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one he'll enter play here with an average just over 250 three homers and 14 driven in. 0 oh and 1 here it comes and a check swing here as he couldn't help himself and it's ruled strike two. On the ground up the middle fielded cleanly and there are two away now. Now with the plate is Connor Wong. He's three for seven in the series coming in. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Swung on and missed. One and one. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They trail things here two to nothing. We're back now as the Rays are preparing for their at bats here in the third inning and this lineup has been a huge bright spot for the ball club this season and a big part of their success comes from their legs coming into this one they're leading the league in stolen bases and while that doesn't necessarily translate into offensive production one player told me our speed is definitely a catalyst for us to get rallies started and it's not just steals we can stretch hits into doubles and triples and that makes it a lot easier for us to get things going. A lot of good athletes and on this club, guys. For the Rays, good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Designated hitter. First pitch on its way. Malik Smith is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's one and zero. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Into the windup and the pitch. Yeah! Fouled off. He'll try it again, three and two. And good patience exercised as he works out to walk to lead off the home half of the third. Now batting. Not shortstop. Wonder. So stepping in is Wonder, Wonder Franco. He flew out in his last AB. Now here's the first offering and they pitch out here but nothing's going on. Throw over to first and he'll get back in standing. 
Smith on at first nobody out. Ball two now. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here. These have been some tough pitches to lay off. Called a strike on the inside part of the plate two and one. There goes Smith. Fouled away. A runner at first with no outs here. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. Judge will get there as he tracks it down deep in foul territory for route number one. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first, and that'll bring up Alec Bohm. From the belt, the pitch. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a throw over, and he just manages to get his hand in. One pitch. That's a strike to throw down. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitchers don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. Runner at second here with one man out. A ball and two strikes now. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. And he'll turn and throw back to second again. And a dive, but he's back. One out and a runner on second base. Hot shot on the ground is short. Gloved by Bogarts. And that's the second out. Into the box, Randy Rosarena. He doubled his last time up. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Runners on his way to third. Strike taken to throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Men on third with two down. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Ray's strand just the one, but they hold a 2 nothing lead. Back to the top of the order now, and that means Nick Solak will dig in. The second base. And now the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And it's one, one and two. two and this is swung on and missed in this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away. 
classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Alex Verdugo digging in now. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And that's high and off the plate. Two and one. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. A three one count tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. No one can make a play on this one and the first Red Sox hit is good for extra bases. Not in time and he's in there with a double. Now batting. Well he was definitely not looking off speed on that pitch. I'll tell you he had to be sitting on a fastball on that one because it's coming in hot and he still manages to get out front of that and yank it for two bases. Here's Xander Bogarts now as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 and 0 delivery. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Vinson is over and he puts it away in foul ground for the second out. So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. Swing and a little tapper. Verdugo stands at second with two gone. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Now a drive by Judge. Deep left field. Gone! All rise Aaron Judge a two run shot home run number 16 for him on the year and the Red Sox have come back to knock things up at two. No surprise with that swing of the bat this guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. At the plate, the Jesse Winker. He'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. A high strike there, and it's 1 and 1. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. The 1-1 one, one is looked at for ball number two. Winker in front, three balls and a strike. The 3 1. Eight, 
He loses him on ball four. Well, it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still on his mind. He had him three and two, but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit. So we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him. So the next to bat will be Miguel Andujar. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's one and zero. Oh. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath. Something can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge. Not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. Now the one and one pitch. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. He's got a good feel for his off speed pitches second time through the order and we just saw three in a row. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning. Well the Red Sox strike for two on the two run homer. Bottom of the fourth coming up and we are tied 2-2. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with the Rays manager during the inning break about the club's offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Thank you, Heidi. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Dylan Moore. The second baseman, Dylan Moore. Now here's the first offering. The wind up and the 0 1. That's a ball. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Hey, after the double at his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Jesus Aguilar hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. and oh. Runner goes. Pitch swung out and missed the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. The one one. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Now the 
payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Stepping in now, Donovan Casey. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. The one oh. Hey I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in we'll take it. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Wow, that's one of the toughest pitches in baseball to hit, right? That good straight changeup, El Cambio. There's not much you can do with that. You're going off of that arm speed, and the ball, it just doesn't get there. Into the box, Will Benson. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses its ball one. Struck out in his first at bat. And this is lined hard to deep left. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. One left for Tampa. Through four, we're deadlocked at two apiece. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said that they're playing right into the pitcher's game plan today by expanding the strike zone way too often. Instead of swinging at pitches in the strike zone that they can do something with, they're often chasing at pitches out of the zone, which is resulting in a lot of their outs. Going forward, they have to start being more selective, guys. All right. Thanks, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth and set to go is the rookie first baseman Sean Campaneras. Now the pitch. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone it's ball one. And oh looked like ball two below the knees but it's ruled a strike and that evens the count at one and one. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball and then he locked him up with a changeup. Here comes the one two. Popped him up. Boom has a play. One down. Up next for the Red Sox. Striding in for Boston, Shirton Apostle grounded Shirton. out in his last at bat. Apostle. Here it comes. One -oh. Two runs on two hits and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Outside and low three and zero. Oh. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Ah. 
that one's in there three and one. Looked like ball four there but instead it's three and two now. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in and now he's raising eye levels to boot. And he struck him out and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Not too often you see an at bat go from three and oh to a strikeout so that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the three oh take but he still had to put it in the zone. Standing in now, Connor Wong. And it's fouled away. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far hitting nearly all of his spots and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here and the side is retired down in order go the Red Sox halfway home tied to a piece. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and now it'll be the catcher, Christian Vasquez. The Christian Vasquez. First pitch on its way. As he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. And a reaching effort, but this ball gets by him as he does a half gainer to try to flag it down. And the Rays are off to a fast start in the inning. A leadoff triple. Wow, it looked like he was carrying a piano around the bases on that one. But somehow he makes it all the way around the third for a triple. Give credit where credit is due. Nobody in the park, including me, thought he had that in him. So here's Malik Smith. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1 0 is swung on and missed, strike one. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, preferably off the corners, and get your team to lead. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up, and there's one down now. And now here is Wander Franco. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Yeah, give me the same at bat. As you stride to the plate right here, give me the same execution. Just get something in the air. You got a chance to take the lead right here. Don't try and do any more. He's set and the pitch. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Hard hit to first. He's got it. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. That brings up Alec Bohm, runner in scoring position with two gone. First pitch on the way. Hit in the air down the left field line. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And this will hop over the wall, but the run now will back. score. And this thing bounces right over the wall, but I don't think it would have mattered right if it stayed in the ballpark. Either way, the runner was going to score, and he was going to wind up in second. He drove that ball really nicely.
In now, Randy Rosarena. As he'll take a look at ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And he misses again, 2 and 0. Oh. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Ready with the 2 0. -oh. And that one got a piece of him. Whoa, he looks a little frustrated out there, and I don't blame him. He gives up a couple of hits early inning, and then he plunks this guy. He's fighting himself a little bit, so they might want to head out to the mound and try to calm him down. So now to the plate, Dylan Moore. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And that's in there, base hit. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. The first baseman, Aguila. To the plate now, Jesus Aguilar. Oh, look at that stop. And they get the force at home. Whatever works as the side is retired. Rays will settle for just the one. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Rays three and the Red Sox two. Leading off the Red Sox, the second baseman, Nick Silva. Now here's the first offering. All one, no Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Count is one and two now. That misses and we're even at two and two. On a line, that's a base hit. Boy, just when you like to get one of those shut down innings, the leadoff guy ends up reaching base right now, and you're looking for that one-two inning. Now you have to pitch out of the stretch. Yeah, I can't tell you how that lights up an offensive dugout right there, getting that leadoff guy on. So many options, puts the pitcher on the defensive and in the stretch. At the plate now, Alex Verdugo. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. One and one. Hey. Fastball called strike. One and two. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Solak gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. Driven the other way, but caught down at third. And that becomes the first out of the inning. So a runner at first now with one away. And that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. Throw over. 
over to the bag. From the belt, kicks and deals. Action in the Rays' pen now as they've got a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. On the ground to second base, this could be two. There's one. Relay to Aguilar, the double play, and that retires the side. Like clockwork, a four to six to three double play to end the threat. More to come on MLB Network Sunday Baseball after this. Marcus Walden enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Out of the play, Donovan Casey, one for two in the ball game thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Walden features an absolute power slider and he uses it a lot. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement on that pitch. Yeah Matt and this is one of the reasons why this guy is so hard to square up and get the barrel of bat on. He throws hard and this slider that he throws it, it takes a sharp break down and it's really hard to get the barrel on it. You'll see lots of swings and misses and he can throw this pitch three four times in a row and still make hitters look bad. This is foul right side. Another one two delivery. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. The right fielder, number 16. Next to hit Will Benson. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Two and oh. Three runs, six hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Here's Bogarts, the young shortstop. And there's out number two. So two outs now in the Tampa Bay sixth and from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. A leap but he won't get it it's off the wall. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. Stepping in now, Malik Smith. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. 3 2's our score here in inning number six. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. The set and the 2 2. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. 
Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Now batting, shortstop, Wonder. Next up, Wander Franco. He grounded out last time up. From the belt, the pitch, as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Swing and a ground ball to third. On to first, and the Rays are kept off the scoreboard here as the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. We're through six full. It's the Rays three and the Red Sox two. Aaron Judge stands in again and his home run earlier has accounted for all of their runs so far in this one. First pitch coming here it is. You know, because this is just a one run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. That one's going to find the seats, strike one. Now the one and one pitch. Grounded to first. On to first and a big out to start the seventh, one gone. So next to bat will be Jesse Winker. It was a walk in his last trip. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And foul. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Here's a breaking ball outside and now it's even one and one. fouled off obviously he's not fatiguing whatsoever still in the mid to high 90s with his fastball these guys got to stay on the attack if they're going to have a chance misses ball two that was a tempting pitch to swing at right there a big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark very tight ball game three to two our score in inning number seven Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Vasquez goes to get it. He makes the throw to first. Two down. You know, professional catchers make those plays look easy most of the time, but that was a big play that shouldn't go unnoticed. Had he found a way on, he would have represented a tying run, so that was a nice job there to make sure that strikeout didn't get wasted. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. And he puts it on the ground to second. Throw over to Aguilar at first will take care of him to end the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning all told. It is stretch time here in Tampa. We'll stretch with him. It's the Rays three and the Red Sox two. Darwin's and Hernandez will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Now to bat, Alec Bone. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Third baseman, Alec Bone. He's set. Here it comes. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. 
Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him, and hey, that's part of the game. Standing in now, Randy Rosarena. A ball and no strikes. Now the 1 0. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Down the first baseline. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt, but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Here now the 2 2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because. Once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Now the first pitch. The 1 0 pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, that's a quality take right there. He knows the pitcher's trying to get him to hit a ground ball and roll two. Fouled away. Popped him up. Campaneris is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now at the plate oh, here is Jesus Aguilar. He could really man. use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so Aguilar. far. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Turned on but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Man the batter's eyes lit up right there. A hanger just a little bit out in front. Couldn't keep it fair. Off the plate and in. Hits a ball and a strike. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Now the 2 1. Hit out towards second. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Ray's strand just the one. They're up 3 to 2. Emilio Pagan has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Kevin Harris. Leading off the inning, it'll be Sean Campaneris, and they could use a spark from him here. From the stretch. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. And he fouls this one off. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. The next 0-2. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. 
He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. The 1-2. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Three and two now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Good battle. Count remains full. Once again, a 3 2. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Casey comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. So his day is fully over as you get a look at the pitching line for the Rays starter and he'll be very happy with how the day went. Hey only allowed three hits in this one kept the hitters off balance and was a lot of fun to watch. Into the box now shirt and apostle as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. A ball and a strike. Hey, that's just a nice get me over curveball there to steal a strike. I don't think he was looking for that one. Here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw gets him two down. Stepping up is Connor Wong. He struck out twice thus far so we'll see if he can fare any better here. First pitch coming here it is. This one everything we could have hoped for three to two in inning number eight. Comes back with the cutter and gets it by him one and one now. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now I suppose two and one the count. Into the corner and slicing foul. Get high and deep out to straightaway left. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Still a three two ball game. Carlos Estevez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and next to bat will be the outfielder Donovan Casey. Donovan Casey. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Aye. To third. Reined in. And that's out number one. Up next is Tampa Bay. Now at the plate, Will Benson. Benson. He bounced out last time up. 
serve. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0 oh, oh, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Popped him up. Wong moving to his left. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. So now to the plate, Christian Vasquez. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 and 1. So far, two for three in this one. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team back in the dugout where the offense can get rolling. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. He'll try again one two hit on the ground down the first baseline scooped up and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over down in order go the Rays but they still lead it three to two. Peter Fairbanks comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Nick Solak. Last time through was a base hit. Yeah, it's always a nightmare taking on another team's closer, trying to get back into a game, especially in the ninth inning. But having your leadoff guy up to start that inning is as good as you could have hoped for. So let's see if he can get something started here. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. That misses 2-0. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. The 2 0. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he faces, everyone on the team can kind of take a deep breath. Still have two more outs to get, but retiring that leadoff guy is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. Here it comes. Alex Verdugo comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. You know some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0 0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Right side defense aligned perfectly. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Next up is Xander Bogarts. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Now this is a perfect example of why this manager feels so confident going to this beast in the ninth right here 
He is throwing absolute thunder right here, pumped up, and looks the part. And it's getting loud now here in the Dome. A sold-out crowd, 36,973 fans on their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two the final finish. The Rays used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Jacob deGrom earns his fifth winner of the year as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. Peter Fairbanks wraps it up for the save, his 17th on the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Final line score for this afternoon.